what's up you guys we are back for another video and in this video today something that i want to talk about is how to bounce back from over filing y'all this has happened to me so many times especially as one who has not been doing nails for a buku years um i still consider myself pretty pretty new and, um, you know, I used to have a very big issue with overfiling in the beginning. Now it doesn't happen to me so much. I kind of overfiled purposefully for the purpose of this video. And, um, I just wanted to do this to show you guys how I bounce back from overfiling, um, particularly for any one who is just getting into nails. This is something that would be great to know because I know what it's like when you spend all that time working on nails and then by the time you get to the end of your set you don't feel proud and the work that you've produced does not really match all of the time and energy that you spent to make them look nice and sometimes if you just if it's something like you overfiled you might can go back and fix that a little bit easier than you would think and that way your nails are able to look more like the vision that you had in mind and match all of the hard work and energy that you put in so first things first you will need some of the nail forms okay i know that these nail forms are typically used when you are sculpting nails but they're still also good to have for instances like this for when you have over filed honestly i have not really gotten into sculpting nails so when i do use the nail forms it's usually for 3d art or for situations like this so they're just still good to have even if you're not scoping nails and you just want to go ahead and sit it under the nail it does not have to be perfect you just want to get it under there good enough for it to catch the acrylic so what you're going to do is you're going to basically go back in and just take a little bit more acrylic from the spots where you have over fouls and put them on the side of the nail now it can't be runny when you're doing this so you do want to make sure um it's the right bead ratio meaning like acrylic to monomer ratio and you just want to let it dry a little bit and then push it against the side of the nail okay and as you're doing this you just want to level it level the size as much so that it'll add on that chunk of the nail that was over fouled i hope that makes sense and as you're doing it sometimes you might need to go ahead and add some back to the top that way that the size that you just added on are not like risen above the rest of the nail so adding a little bit more acrylic to the top can help even out the new size that you just added on with the rest of the nail that was in the middle. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, well, this is a solid color. What about when I'm doing ombre? When I do ombre, or let's say if I've done some type of encapsulated nail, what helps is using clear. So if I've over fouled, I'll just go back in and add some clear onto the sides. And, you know, of course, you can still see everything underneath the ombre and things underneath um i know it'll be more ideal to be able to just like use the full out ombre colors but because that's such a design um that you know needs to be built up from scratch and cannot just be added onto the sides a lot of times that clear will go ahead and add on the additional nail that you have fouled too much off while still allowing the design to shine through okay you guys so now that i have enough acrylic back on here to work with i'm just going to go ahead and let that dry before i start fouling all right you guys so this is what i'm left with when i have packed on the acrylic a lot of times it is not this thick when i'm done the reason why i did that was just because i wanted it to be nice and full in the middle um the goal is, is just for you to get your nail back to a place so which you can scale down to where you actually meant to foul to so it doesn't have to be this thick um sometimes you can just go ahead and add the acrylic back on and it'll be as close to the original size in this example i just went ahead and added it on a little thicker just so that i can have a little bit more to work with as i'm fouling back down Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, so I went back in with my drill bit just to reshape the body of the nail again. And I'm just gonna reshape those sides. guys basically <laughs> um because of how i had the nails inside of the nail hands um it no longer had that other piece of the nail supporting it inside of the finger to let it to make it stick so basically that's why it kept falling out at this point so if i am removing the nail off of the finger that's only that's the only reason why it has nothing to do with the video All right, you guys, we have finally got the nail back down to the size that we want it to be. I hope that this video was useful. If you are a beginner and you find yourself ever over filing nails, possibly this method could be helpful. It is pretty helpful when it comes to just like over filing one nail. Like, you know, we have that one nail that looks different than the rest of the set because you might have over filed. I find that this method has helped me during those times. Please be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time you guys.